Hey guys, um, happy Sunday. I didn't plan to come in here and shoot like my third video, but um, I actually, you can probably hear it in the background. I just finished doing um, one of the, uh, I did the Mountain Pose series of Ultimate Yogi, which you guys have been hearing me talk about and a lot of you have been writing me about it, um, which I'm just so glad I bought this because I'm, obsessed with it. I love it. I mean, aside from like the number one ideal situation for me, issues of course, um, for yoga would be to be in Choreo studio with Corey or one of the other people at, at that studio every day. Okay. So that would be ideal. But considering, as I said in my last video, that it is, you know, at least I got to leave I gotta leave an hour before the class starts in order for me to get there in time to, you know, get my place, get my parking space, kind of flow in there without rushing. Um, you know, it ends up being three and a half, four hours out of the day to get there and back. So it's sadly, I mean, if I could pick another place to live and, and snap my fingers and, you know, live close to that studio, I would. That's how much I like um, being there and practicing there. That said, for a close second, I am so glad that I got this. Now, I told you guys before, out of all the yoga DVDs I've bought in the past several years, number one, I'd never really taken a class, so that's probably another reason why a lot of those DVDs didn't strike me, but I can certainly tell you, um, maybe it's the class vibe that these have, or maybe it's the fact that the person, so, of course, why am I going blank on his name? Travis Elliott. He's walking around in the class like an instructor, just like when I go to Corey's class. Corey's walking around and, and he's correcting people just like he corrects people and, and he's kind of talking you through it. So it's not just one person sitting alone in a room instructing you. I don't know if that's it, but all I know is I am loving this. I love how this is not just I kind of think it's dorky that somebody said, this is the P90X of yoga. I mean, why do we need to call it something? That's not how I look at it. Um, I mean, really, P90X is a great program if you've never done weight training before. Um, I look at something like Ultimate Yogi as if you've, again, I, I think it's, it's not for beginners, that's just me. Um, I'm sure beginners could get this and work their way into it. Um, I think it's been helpful for me because I've already been going to yoga and this kind of is great for me transporting that to my house. Um, but again, whatever. I just think it's kind of dorky that people are saying it's the PMDX of yoga. Anyway, here's the deal. I've been doing this officially now for a week. And the only reason I say officially is I bought this, I don't know, three weeks ago or so and I brought it with me when I was in Portland. So I did it several times in Portland problem, if you recall, when I was in Portland is I realized I really need to pack a yoga mat when I'm with, uh, when I travel. I'm pointing to it as if you could see that my yoga mat's over there. Um, I probably won't pack my Manduka one because it's heavy, but I have this one over here. I think that's from Guyam. It's nice and light. I don't think it would add too much to my, um, to my packing. But the problem is I was trying to do my, you, Corey, I just said trying, whatever. Um, I was trying to do this in my hotel room and I was really sliding on the carpet. My feet were sliding in certain poses and I'm like, I'm gonna end up breaking something and not a piece of furniture, I'm gonna break myself. So um, I did some of this when I was in Portland um, and then I came back and I was like, you know me, I kind of was deciding that I was gonna do the whole 108 program, 108 day program and I, I like to officially start on like a Sunday or whatever. Um, so that said, I have done, out of all of this, I just wanted to kind of give you feedback. So the program, if you buy it, comes in this nice package here. It's also got a booklet and then it's got a, um, a poster that I actually have hanging in my office that tells you which DVD you do every day. So it's uh, 108 days is divided into 36, th three groups of 36 and then they tell you each workout that you're doing each day. Um, as I mentioned to you, the only thing that I really haven't done totally by the book this week, I'm always doing my yoga at night or in the evening, early evening like today, um, is I haven't done the hardcore 
the way that they prescribe it because I don't want to do that at night and it is close to adding an extra, I should look at the time. I thought it was maybe an extra half an hour. So that, you know, I, I really need to be better at that because um, I definitely want to focus on the core. But, so here's the um, programs that are included in here. You have cross training, you have cardio. I'm just showing you in case you haven't seen this yet. Strength, flexibility, balance, detox, vitality, hardcore, which is the core one, uh, whoa, yin yoga, uh, gentle yoga, and then mountain pose series, which is in the DVD right now. Oh, wait, is there another one? Oh, yeah, sun salutations. Um, so, a couple of things. I, I think one of the reasons that I was prompted internally to come over and shoot this video for you guys is I just did Mountain Pose. And I have to tell you, out of all the DVDs that I've done so far, which I obviously have not done all of these, um, you know, the Mountain Pose was a, was a series of, I'd say, three-fourths of it was mostly, I mean, you literally are just standing in Mountain Pose. And so much of it is, you know, you're breathing up, you're going all the way up, you know, you're, you're coming down, you're doing different ups and downs, right? But I was kind of going, uh, can this get harder? That's my tendency. I like to do things that are challenging and as much as I love the part of yoga that is, can you see, you can sense the music, right? It's your quiet time, it's, it's um, your, not introverted, what's the word I'm looking for? Introspective. Um, you have time for yourself. I mean, there was part of me where I'm like, uh, I'm not sweating yet. I'm not, you know, <laughs> so I was starting to get a little, I don't want to say annoyed. Probably I was, probably I was. And then I'm like, he has this in here for a reason. He has everything balancing everything. And then I started to notice as he was doing some of the poses towards the end, here's something simple. One little tweak in, you know, he might have been giving the direction like, you know, he almost went down into a chair pose and you know, your arms are up like this, right? And he's like, try to make sure that you have your, um, Corey, maybe he didn't say try, but he said, you know, focus on having your arms up a little bit more so that you can focus on, you know, I think he was saying part of your back, whatever. But just being down in chair pose or almost chair pose, right? And you have your arms like this and just having your arms go like this, to this, if you're really focused and you're in the right position, A, and then you're, you're holding it for a while, okay? I can feel this in my shoulders, and yes, if I'm going from here, and you close your eyes and go like that, okay? You can feel that, and when you're doing these poses again and again and again, one little tweak is all of a sudden, I started to get towards, you know, I don't even know, however many minutes into this, and I literally had to put my arms down in some of the poses because my shoulders were getting worked so much that I was like, damn, you know, he had us, you know, holding up like this. I keep showing my, like, I'm not here to give you the gift of seeing my armpits. Um, but like literally it was working my shoulders so much and I wasn't even realizing it. And you're working your shoulders without having your shoulders on the floor holding your body up, okay? So it just made me realize again one little tweak, one little tweak, and if, if you're in um, warrior pose, you know, and you lean down just two inches, you're working your legs that much harder. Um, as I'm standing here, I'm standing barefoot on the floor, and I've told you guys, one of my weaknesses is that I supinate, okay? So my, my legs go like this, which causes all kinds of challenges for me in things like, um, is it triangle pose or half moon pose, half moon? Um, because, you know, I automatically am starting to tip over as opposed to being able, and, and other people don't have that problem because they pronate. You know, I'm the only supinator in the whole class usually. But I'm standing here as we talk, and now that I'm aware of this, which is the cool thing about what yoga does, is it you know, you become so aware of your imbalances and some of the things that you're doing that cause you to have a challenge with certain poses. So now as I'm standing here, I'm focusing on keeping both of my feet flat on the ground, instead of using my left leg, we've got to shoot videos, I, I will work on this. You guys always ask me to shoot videos with other people so we can do stuff at the gym, but we've had some changes, so <laughs> changes in personnel around here. Um, 
but I'm focusing on keeping both of my feet. My, my left leg is double jointed and I usually will lean back on it. So my left leg will go back and then that makes my hip go back, which makes my posture and everything. So as you can see, maybe you even see it in my videos. I'm always focused now on keeping my shoulders back. You know how I used to stand is like this, okay? I don't know if you can tell as much, but there's a big difference between standing like this and standing like this, okay? And that's one of the things that I find myself doing is when I'm walking around, I'm standing like this versus, you know, standing like this, which is bad for your hips, it's bad for your back, it's bad for everything. Stand like this and you'll automatically find yourself, you know, tucking in your stomach tightening in your stomach, being aware of everything, and then I'm also focusing on my legs. Bringing my legs in, which is working my inner thighs more, just to keep that in there. It's just, it's pretty cool. And I did this, and I was, as I told you, it was the only one out of the ones, the DVDs that I've done so far, where I was like, uh, you're gonna pick things up a little bit, Travis? And then, you know, it was almost like two minutes after I said that, I'm like, damn, I literally had to take my shoulders and stretch them out. And then he did this, you know, backwards, backwards namaste, is that what it's called? Uh, you know, prayer, and I was like, holy mother. All I'm saying is, A, don't underestimate something that seems easier. Focus on your form. It's amazing how just focusing on little tweaks can make a big difference. Um, and then I'm almost at 12 minutes, but let me wrap up really quick and tell you which ones I've done and, and my impression. Cross training, so the first one that I did, um, that's intense. Um, it's just a lot of great flows. I mean, I just love everything. Um, cardio, I was like, cardio, right? Um, yeah, I was, because he just moves very, very fast. I'm trying to remember if that was this one, but I do remember you kind of get to the end and you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do two more flows and he's got three more coming. Um, strength, did we do strength? I think I've done strength, although I can't remember. We have not done flexibility, we have not done balance. Uh, I did detox, which was a lot of twisting, a lot of twisting poses, um, some of which were very challenging for me. I did vitality, which I loved. Um, I mean, every one of these has a different focus. Um, I've done hardcore, but I've only done it once, I have to say. And then we did yin, which is a lot, a ton of just, you hold these poses for three to five minutes. Intense, but I'm telling you, I, I couldn't believe that I was almost like stepping outside of my body going, okay, imagine when you sit down on, on a mat and your legs are straight out in front of you and your legs are flexed, right? Your feet are flexed, excuse me. And then you have, you pull, say your left, foot up by your knee, okay? And then you, you know, you put your arms up and you bend over. My nose is touching my, um, my nose is touching my knee now. And I was touching my knee going, is this a joke? Am I doing this? I'm already making that much progress and I'm not going and killing myself doing this, you guys. I'm, I'm pushing myself through this stuff appropriately. I can only imagine like how I'm gonna be A, at the end of a month, B, at the end of 108 days, C, at the end of a year and, who knows, you know, going forward after that. So I'm super excited. You guys, a ton of you have been asking me about it. Um, I'm always gonna feature this on my website. Yes, um, I did sign up for their affiliate program, so I have no shame in asking you to buy this from me because um, I'm testing it out for you first. Um, but hopefully I'll be talking to our BFF, Travis, soon and bringing you a lot more from his world. And that's that. So I'm gonna go do my meditation and I will see you guys tomorrow.